Hello, hello, hello. Good morning. I am Professor Daniela Gomes. Thank you guys for joining me. Uh, this is my class. I am here for those who are not in San Diego. This uh, I am here at San Diego State University. And I am a professor, an assistant professor at the Department of African Studies. It's a pleasure hosting you here. Uh, Davi is a good friend of mine, almost a brother. We attended UT Austin together. And uh, we develop, of course, the sides of a friendship, a fellowship, and I admire his work a lot. So what I'm gonna do is introducing you, Professor David Pereira Jr. For those who don't know, David, at this point, David, are you in Itamatachio right now? Your microphone is mute. Yes, I'm in St. Louis. I'm oh, you are in San Luis. So, Davi at yes. this moment is in San Luis, is the capital of the state of Maranhão in Brazil, all the way uh, north, northeast, almost north of the country. Okay. And Davi is going to bring to this to us. Um, can you uh, pass code the link, please? Thank you. Uh, Davi, lecture today name is Utopia of Freedom in the Americas. Quilombo and Maronage as forms of social organization in the diaspora. David Ferreira Jr., PhD, was born in the Quilombola community of Itamatatiwa in the south of the municipality of Alcantara Maranhão, northeast of Brazil. He holds a BA in history from the State University of Maranhão, UEMA, a master's degree in social anthropology from the Federal University of Bahia, UFBA, and a PhD in Latin America studies from University of Texas at Austin. Uh, Pereira Jr. has been a researcher for new social cartograph in Brazil since 2005. He has an extensive experience in researching and producing cartographies with people and traditional communities in Brazil. Please help me welcome Professor David Pereira Jr. Uh, I will not say thank you to Professor Daniela for inviting me to come here today. Uh, for me, it's a, a pleasure, a big pleasure to be here for this lecture. Actually, this is my first lecture after my, I finished my PhD program in, in last uh, July. Uh, yeah, I'm here to, to speak about uh, something I really like, is about um, Quilombos. Uh, communities. Um, so uh, I, I hope you you, you guys enjoy uh, my presentation. So I, I use a, a little bit of a, a present uh, presentation here. So uh, my my presentation is uh, is about like utopia freedom in lat uh, in the Americas, Quilombos, and Maron as, as a form of social. Uh, organization in diaspora. Uh, I have a, li a little bit of outline of the class today. And uh, first of all, I will uh, talk about a little bit about my positionality for everybody to understand uh, my, my, where I, where from the place from where I'm speaking. Uh, I will provide some uh, historic information about black slavery. I know uh, Professor Daniela uh, already provided for you guys. Uh, I will try to contextualize uh, the Quilombos into the, um, as, under, as a form of resistance organization in, uh, in the Americas, because we have known only this kind of organization organization in the America come from uh, people who fly from slavery. Uh, so I will talk a little bit about uh, Quilombo Maronage as the struggle for territorial writing identities. And a little bit about the challenge that Quilombola people uh, and black rural communities in, in the Americas uh, are challenged in the present day. So, uh, a little bit of, uh, about me. Uh, I, I'm, I'm born in the small communities in rural area in Brazil called uh, Itamatatiwa. 
this community uh, have about three uh, three century uh, yes a, a, a black community who achieved the autonomy around um, 1820, uh, 1820. Uh, so I lived there into my, when I was uh, 14. So I have to, to move to San Luis. Is that, is, San Luis is like, it's close to, uh, to Itamatatio is like, is about uh, 15 miles from there. Just to have to cross the, uh, a little, um, part of the, 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 sea, uh, the sea called Baia de São Marcos. So you get São Luis. So I moved to São Luis to get to, 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 to go to, to, to continue uh, my, my third grade. So uh, my, uh, my, my mother was a, a, a teacher there. My, my father worked in the, in the small farm, in the crop. So I, I moved to San Luis, so I start my, my life as a, a, a student. So uh, when I was 23, I, I went to college uh, at the University uh, of State of Maranhão, but my family have a, a long way, a uh, history of struggle for, for the right for the, my community. So uh, since I born, I, my, my communities, uh, I know, uh, since I bought, I, I know my, my community are struggling for, for the right to survive, to the right on uh, uh, the territory and the land. So after I finished the college, I went to university, I, I moved to Bahia, to Salvador and Bahia to, to, to for get my master. So in 2015, I moved to Texas to, to learn English, you know, uh, uh, my, my, my English is still a little broken, but uh, I like to speak that, that way because uh, you guys should understand what's really difficult for people like me to get a uh, right education and the uh, outside of culture of Brazil. Um, it's so difficult to learn English after you have like 30. So, uh, my, my, my first uh, information I want to uh, provide you guys is about uh, a lot of uh, how much people uh, were like uh, come uh, as slaves uh, from Africa, uh, for Africa slave trade uh, between the century uh, 16 and 19. So a lot of people, about uh, 12 million people uh, were like kidnapping in Africa. It brought us slavery into Americas. In the, uh, in the most of the, this part of these people come to Brazil. So um, Brazil have like uh, half, almost like 6 million people come, uh, of uh, slavery in Africa come to Brazil. Mm -hmm. So this, for this today, Brazil have uh, like the large uh, population uh, outside Africa, large black population outside Africa. Uh, it, it, this is the, almost the second cult we have more black uh, people in the world. I think it's a little more, but this is, the, is another question. The, about the Quilombos community, Brazil have like officially, uh, official, like you have like 6,000 uh, Quilombos communities. But this is, this is like official it's from Brazilian government. Uh, uh, but like for more, for Brazilian uh, like black movement, like you have like 6,000 6, communities only in my state of the state of Maranhão. You have a, a lot of like black community because you have like, uh, you have a lot of uh, big farm and plantations. So 
you you absorb a lot of uh, black folks here. So uh, I want to uh, move a little bit faster to to contextualizing um, black resistance. So you know you have like a lot of slavery come to Brazil. Uh, these folks when arrive in America, they start uh, make resistance against slavery. So and this this kind of resistance have uh, they took uh, the a lot of different form, include suicide, refuse to follow order, infanticide, rebellion, revolution. Um, they escape to set up Quilombos or Palenques. Why uh, what is important to understand here? Um, if you think about Americas, uh, this you, you should understand that you have like a diversity of the, the way of resistance. He want, he, what is we in Brazil call quilombos, they assume different form, uh, a different movement in, in Americas. So you have like a lot of similarities you know, uh, about this I, I call institution. Uh, so the, the, the main organization or institute to result from the flight of slave African into diasporas in the Americas is Quilombos, in Mucambo, in, in the case of Brazil, um, Garifunas and Honduras and Belize. But about Garifuna, I have to make a, a little quote because if you talk with people from Garifunas community, they say they never uh, have the condition of slavery. The narrative about they arriving in these Americas is different uh, from, for example, Quilombos. He, uh, if you uh, the, the, you have in Nicaragua Creole, the Maroons in the US, Tumbes in, in Venezuela, Cimarron in, in part of the South America, Mexico, and Caribbean, um, Palenques in Rizales in Colombia, Boni in French Guiana, Dijunca in Suriname, and Saramacas in, in, in Suriname and French. French Korean. What I say with the utopia of freedom uh, is this what I, I mean for utopia and freedom in, 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 in the Americas is this this is spaces such as Quilombos, um, Garifunas, Creole, Maron, Fumbris, Cimarones. Uh, are space for black people um, reimagining their life, reimagining their communities. Uh, if you uh, think about how the process of colonization was so um, difficult for these people. So the first thing is uh, when you think about uh, the, 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 the Africa as continent, you, have, you should think this, this African as continent is so different, so diverse. So uh, in Brazil, for example, where I, I have more familiarities, uh, when the, the, the slaves arrive into Brazil, the first step that the, the colonizer took is to separate people. So they don't allow people to be together. Like if you are a family, you you, you be sell for different uh, master to avoid uh, people uh, to create like ties of solidarity. So they, they talk different. So, uh, okay. So in this, in this sense, I say that Quilombo, where the diasporic institution results from process of slave escape of interplantation in Brazil, but the, the, the same, if you uh, the, the same logic uh, could 
could be uh, could describe the situation over the, the Americas. So the Quilombos as well as, as also similar institution to black resistance against enslavement in, in the Americas constituted and still constitute space of resignification, reimagination, reconstruction for black who live and are living and diasporic experience. Um, have something here uh, may look like anachronic uh, this uh, this question, but I say because uh, I say this they live the, are living right now because this space is still a space for 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 black folks to reimagining re communities. If you think the the main uh, if you think of this, this, this state, the, the post colonial state, uh, are still uh, racist. So, Quilombo is the way it was, this, this the main way to, to resist to oppression for uh, in the, the colon, colonial times. Uh, so, this is too much to be understood with the historic context of the most diverse experience lived by black, by black people, trafficked through the trade routes and human beings across the Atlantic and so as slavery in America as, as well as the descendants. Uh, a little bit more. In this sense, I understand the Quilombo as a space to, to remain to rebuild the idea of community identity Besides do the violence of that colonized sub subjected the slavery. It was the main strategy to destroy any affective style existing between uh, the slaves. This facilitates the proposal of domination, the objectification, and more difficult creates broad uh, bond of collective solidarity among the captives. Um, so may uh, Quilombo was the, 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 this space, this space where the, uh, the black folks in this, this colonial time are able to achieve the, the space of freedom. Uh, also, uh, Quilombo, uh, the, the, the Quilombo was the first space, was uh, the first experience uh, in these Americas uh, please, when I, 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 I speak the, the word Quilombo, please understand uh, that I'm referring as well as uh, Palenques, as this diverse situation where the situation from um, Black people in the diaspora. But this uh, Quilombo was the first uh, possibility for, for Black folks or for no, no white folks to to assess land because uh, if you uh, in Brazil, the, the only way to, to people to assess land is come from uh, the states or in the figure the uh, in the figure of the, the imperador or even before the figure the 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 the, 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 the king of from, from Portugal so. Uh, Quilombo, in this sense, they like subvert the order because also is the, the, the first experience of the black for autonomy, for, 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 for product. Like, because the, the Quilombo is opposite uh, at this, at the, uh, at the order, the, the economic social order you have in, in, in Brazil, or if you can, you can think about the, the social, the economic order you have in, in the Americas. So this situation like Quilombos, Palenques, they are in the, like the opposite because this, this is a first opportunity 
to people first uh first of all because this and the Columbus they are not um they launch to in the in, in the in the pact the, 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 the colonial pact so um you uh, the the historical uh archive you can see that Quilombo they 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 create a own logic of uh, who possibility to create like a trade uh from for an internal market so this is the first situation you have in uh, a situation like Brazil under the, the colonial pact, you have a like internal market. So uh, it's so common the people who live in, in the Quilombo's community to produce, to sell in the inter internal market in the in the city, in, in the city and uh, they are nearby then. Uh, so uh, this make this this is a space really important for for, for, for black folks who escape from from from, from plantations. So. Uh, like okay. also uh Quilombo could be understood as a, as a kind of institution to struggle against the the uh, the colonial uh, colonial power so uh, you have it like uh, uh, in Brazil for example a lot of uh, uh, legal action from Brazilian state against the Quilombo. Uh, and also, the, this space uh, called Quilombo is a space, you could say, is a space for, 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 for not only for Black people. That is important, uh, um, important to, to say. That in case of uh, the Amazon, for example, the Quilombo is not only space for Black people. Of course, uh, the, the, the institution, Quilombo, is a Black institution uh, in, in this America. But the place Quilombo is not only uh, the place for, for Black people. You have uh, several uh, studies about Quilombo in Brazil who points out that the Quilombo become a place for people who are excluded from the, the Brazilian society, from the, the colonial society. In this sense, uh, Quilombo uh, become a, a place for, for, for people uh, rec reconstruction, also humanity. You, you, in terms of Brazil, it's important to make a little bit difference because you have like two sense of Quilombo. Uh, I, 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 I mean, um, I speak uh, about a little bit about this Quilombo. It's, it's more historical. They are linked uh, the, the the colonial time. How how important this 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 space this institution have uh, black people but um, after uh, after the the end of slavery in Brazil Brazil I, I think uh, it's important to know Brazil is this the last culture to end the the slavery the, the slavery ended in Brazil in 1998 in the almost in the in the, in the last uh, the uh, last 10 years, the, the, the center, the, the 19th century. Um, and uh, after that, this 
this space, this community is like almost disappear from the, from the literature of Brazilians. You'd never see a, a, a hear about the Quilombos again until 1988, until uh, Brazilian constitution. This is, 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 is like, in, uh, after Brazil, uh, the, constitution, the, the Brazilian constitution, the eight, uh, nine, 1988, uh, the Quilombo uh, appear as movement. That, that is important because this is a new interpretation about Quilombo. There is no, no more Stucco as a, a, a colonial place. It is uh, now the, the new interpretation about Quilombo is about identity. So the Brazilian state in the constitution in 1988, they, they recognize the right, um, the right of the Quilombo's people on the day land they, they are occupied, or, or, or in the, 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 the territory they, they, they are living or lived before. So this starts a, uh, a new process in Brazil because the, this community, before, uh, into the constitution 1988, uh, the uh, Quilombolas community never had a, a, like right, any right uh, about him. Having have no any legislation who recognize uh, they they write uh, they they write about the land or write about the identity. So after the this wave, the in, in Latin America about the who contest this this idea of it, uh, nation state uh, you have in Brazil uh, uh, the uh, finally you have in Brazil they, they, they recognize uh, that uh, they recognize about the that that Columbus community have a right in they in the land they they use so, So uh, you have uh, uh, in this moment in, in the in the 1988, you have like a, a a big mobilization in Brazil from black movement to to provide to to provide uh, this right to 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 black community who lived in in rural area. Look, this is different about uh, uh, from the right for people who live in, in urban area. Uh, because in Brazil, you have like basically do, uh, two kind of right for black folk. This for the right for reparation based on race. In, in the case of the Quilombos communities, the rights is based on identity. You can claim, claim you you uh, you uh, right based on, on on identity. So by today, the uh, the, the communities, the Columbus community you have in Brazil, is almost uh, have uh, claim and they write based on identity. So it, it means they necessary, necessarily don't, uh, don't have it to be in the same place uh, or, or even um, in, 
even the sorry because uh, I have a, some word like escape from my uh, my mind, but you have like some situation where necessarily uh, the community, the Kilombot community today, they don't uh, they don't exist in the colonial time. So, uh, but they they still have the possibility to clean. Um, uh, claiming the right as Kilombolas uh, because the way of they organize the way they they live in, in the land because uh, when I I I speak about the similarly between uh, Kilombos for example in Palenque almost is the way they they, they live like Kil Kilombos community. Columbus communities basically uh, they they live in and uh, in common land they, they share their land they also they 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 use the the not not uh, the uh, the natural resource collectively so this the, the this the the, the main idea to clean your identity as Quilombolas communities today in Brazil. Uh, it's about how uh, the, the main trait today uh, for the main challenge today for Quilombolas communities is uh, in Brazil, like indigenous communities, Quilombolas communities, they they territory this is they, 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 this uh, they they live in this situation this they territory this this main uh, preserved so uh, today uh Columbus community have uh, are suffering a lot of pressure from the international capital from um, big project like mineral, vegetal, electrical, because this, this territory uh, is still, uh, as this territory are, are preserved, uh, so they are suffering, suffering um, pressure for, 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 for companies to, to, to access uh, the, the, the natural resource that it is it's facilitated because Brazilian state, they don't uh, give the, the, uh, the, the protection of, uh, for this land. So even uh, Brazilian uh, state recognize that Brazilian and Quilombos community have rights uh, under the, the, the territory. Uh, Brazilian government don't provide the, the, the necessary protection. Uh, 